so this was the given question let us first understand the given data here mass of water entering inside the cooling tower is given that is 1000 kg per minute then inlet water temperature 35 degree celsius and outlet water temperature 30 degree celsius is given then air from the atmosphere is at 35 degree celsius dry bulb temperature and 25 degree celsius wet bulb temperature is given and the air leaving the cooling tower so temperature is given so we will say ta2 is equal to 30 degree celsius and 90 percent relative humidity so this is the data given now we will understand how this heat transfer process inside the tower is taking place so heat lost by water is equal to heat gained by air so how we will define so heat lost by water that is mcp delta t that is the mass of water entering inside the tower cp specific heat of water multiplied by delta t that is the temperature difference in between this outlet and inlet so we will define here mw1 cpw twi minus two. now heat gained by air so how we will define this heat gained by air so first we have to take the volume of air entering from the atmosphere. So this volume is given in meter cube per minute. Then we have to take divided by specific volume of air entering the cooling tower. So this specific volume is not mentioned and we have to find out the specific volume from the psychrometric chart. So it is in meter cube per kilogram. Now we have to take the enthalpy difference for the air leaving the tower and air entering the tower. That is HA2 minus HA1. So these enthalpies also we have to find out with the help of psychrometric chart. Minus we have to take the specific humidity for the air leaving the tower and air entering the tower. So this specific humidity also we have to take from the psychrometric chart and then there is the CPW that is the specific heat of water and temperature of water at the outlet. Now to use the psychrometric chart we have to first plot the point 1 for the initial condition of air and point 2 for the final condition of air. So from point 1 we will find out the specific volume of air then enthalpy as well as specific humidity and from point 2 we will find out specific humidity and enthalpy now if we observe the given data here air from the atmosphere is entered inside the tower so this is the initial condition that is 35 degree celsius dry bulb temperature and 25 degree celsius wet bulb temperature so this is the initial condition of air and from this we will plot the point 1 and then the temperature that is the air leaving the tower temperature is given 30 degree celsius and 90 percent relative humidity so this is the final condition of air and from this we will plot the point two this is the psychrometric chart and now we will plot the point one for the air entering to the cooling tower and point two for the air leaving from the cooling tower now for the initial condition of air, dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature is given. So we will select the point. So dry bulb temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. So on this horizontal line, dry bulb temperature is given and the wet bulb temperature is given here. That is in degree Celsius. So we will select here one line to indicate this uh, point one. So I will extend this line from the dry bulb temperature that is from 35 degree Celsius. So we have to extend it up to the wet bulb temperature that is equal to 25 degree Celsius. So here is the line with 25 degree Celsius. Now we will select the point 2. So point 2 is given for 30 degree Celsius dry bulb temperature and 90% relative humidity. Now if we observe the relative humidity here with the help of blue color it is given relative humidity 10%, 20%, 30% and here is 80%. Now this last line indicates the saturated line and at this saturated line there is the 100% relative humidity. So in between this 80% and 
and 100% we have to select the middle line and we will extend this line. So for this 30 degree Celsius, I will extend here up to this middle line. So here somewhere here will be the point. So this will be the point two. Now we will see, find out the different values regarding this point one as well as point two. So for this point one, what is the enthalpy? So if we observe this wet bulb temperature line and enthalpy line overlap. So it is also given here the note that is enthalpy lines overlap wet bulb temperature lines. So the same line indicate us the enthalpy and which is equal to 75 kilojoule per kilogram. Now we have to find out what is the specific humidity. So how to find out the specific humidity? So again, we will extend one line in the horizontal direction to the specific humidity. So here, if we observe, here is the vertical line which indicates specific humidity grams moisture per kilogram dry air. That is grams per kilogram, it is shown. So uh, above 15, that is we will say it is 19 gram per kilogram. So we have to note down this value and then we will find out what is the specific volume. So specific volume also is indicated with this green color in meter cube per kilogram. So here specific volume is 0 0.90. It is shown. But if we compare this, this point one does not lie on this 0 0.90 but before that so we will slightly before that so we will say that 0 0.895 meter cube per kilogram so we have to note down all these values related to point one now we will move for the point two so for this point two again we have to find out the enthalpy so how to find out the enthalpy so for that we will draw here one uh, parallel line passing through the point one from this uh, for this enthalpy line. So if I draw here the one parallel line. Then somewhere here will be that line. And now what is the value for this line? So if we observe here is 75 kilojoule per kilogram and here is 98 kilojoule per kilogram. So we will say that the enthalpy at point 2 that is equal to 94.5 kilojoule per kilogram. Now we will find out what is the value for this specific humidity at point 2. So we have to extend here this point 2 in this horizontal direction. So we will, I will extend this same line in the horizontal direction and we will find out what is the value. So it is slightly below this 25. So we can say that 24.4 and unit is grams per kilogram of dry air. So these are the values that we have to note down. Now we will put all the values from the psychrometric chart. So here MW1 1000 specific heat of water 4.2 kilojoule per kilogram degree Celsius. So we will take here 4.2. Now the temperature difference 35 minus 30. So this is the temperature difference of water is equal to. Now this volume of air entering the tower that is not known. So we will take as it is. Then the specific volume we will take from the psychrometric chart 0.896. Multiplied by the enthalpy of air leaving the tower and enthalpy of air entering the tower. That is 94.5 minus 75 minus specific humidity. So this specific humidity is given in gram per kilogram. But what is the standard unit? Kilogram per kilogram. So here gram per kilogram. So this 24.4 uh, is gram per kilogram. This is the specific humidity is given as per psychrometric chart. So we have to convert it kilogram per kilogram so for that we will divide here for 1000 so 24.4 minus 16 by 1000 so whenever in psychrometric chart this value is given in kilogram per kilogram then there is no need to divide by 1000 multiplied by cpw that is 4.2 that is specific heat of water and temperature of water leaving the tower that is 30 so when we solve this, we will calculate this 
uh, volume V that is 1103 meter cube per minute. Now the total number of fans are given 10 and this is the volume of air that is required to enter inside the tower. So this air is getting entered inside the tower because of the induced fans and these induced fans suck the air from the atmosphere. Now there are the total number of fans is equal to 10. So what is the capacity of each fan? So we have to take this total volume divided by 10. So capacity of each fan 110.3 meter cube per minute. Now we will calculate the quantity of makeup water required. Let us first understand why it is necessary for the quantity of makeup water. Here, the, when the hot water entered inside the cooling tower, some water is getting evaporated and the water vapors are carried out with the air leaving the tower. So, how to calculate the quantity of makeup water? For that, we have to refer the specific humidity of air entering the tower and specific humidity of air leaving the tower. So when the water vapors are carried with the air, then here specific humidity of air leaving the tower is higher than the specific humidity of air entering the tower. So we will take here the formula V that is the volume of air entering the tower divided by Vs1 that is the specific volume of air entering the tower multiplied by omega 2 minus omega 1 divided by 1000. Now here if we observe this uh, value of specific humidity in psychrometric chart is given in grams per kilogram. But the standard unit is kilogram per kilogram so we have to take here divided by 1000. And unit is kilogram per minute because this volume is given in meter cube per minute. So here the you will have to give the unit that is kilogram per minute. Now we will put the value. So we will put the value of V, Vs1 and this value of specific humidity. Then we will convert this in kilogram per hour. So in 1 hour there are total 60 minutes. So we will multiply here with 60 and then answer will be in kilogram per hour. So answer is 621 kilogram per hour.